hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here i just want to say welcome for cricket newbies check out my newbie playlist to learn design space and please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos today i will be making stickers and if you want to see on how i create them just keep on watching so i'm in my workspace Go to the left side panel and click on image. I'm just going to type floral deer and I'm going to click on the filter and then click on the upload box since I uploaded these files from Google. Choose the image and click insert. I'm just going to minimize the size of the image by going to the top panel and change the sizing. I'm going to zoom in to get a better view. Click on text and type thank you as an example. Change the font to babes and bridal. And you can use any font you'd like, but if you like this font, you can always download it from dafont.com. I'm just going to grab the text and enlarge it for a better view. And here I'm going to ungroup the text. I'm just going to move these letters manually. Select the text and then weld. And I'm going to do the same thing for this. Move the letters closer to each other, then select text, then weld. I wanted to show this, see how the letter O closed up or filled. It's not a big deal. What you need to do is just click undo and just move the other letter away because they are too close to each other. Then select the text again and weld again. Now I'm just going to move the text next to the other text. Select both and then weld. I'm going to resize the text and place the text under the image. Now I'm going to select both and go up to the top panel, click align and choose horizontally. Now I'm going to grab a shape and see how the image is behind the shape. So go on the top panel and click on Arrange and bring it to the back. Let's change the color of the shape to white. I'm just going to resize the shape. You can also unlock and change the shape to your liking. It's up to you. I'm going to select both, click align, and choose horizontal. I'm happy with this, so now I'm just going to the bottom right panel and click flatten. I'd like to change the size of the sticker to one and a half, so just change it up here. Then I'm going to click duplicate. I just need four of these and I'm just going to line them up. I don't need this, so I'm just going to delete. So select these four and I like to make sure they are aligned. So click align, scroll down to distribute horizontally and vertically. I'm going to select all four and group them. Now I'm going to duplicate and I want five rows of these. I'm just going to bring these down and place them like a sticker would appear. Then select all. 
click align again scroll down to distribute horizontally and vertically then click make it while your project is loading make sure you insert the sticker paper into your printer I don't know about your printer, but I insert my paper right side face down. I got this sticker paper from Amazon and I will link all of the materials I'm using under the description box if you guys want to check that out. Now let's click continue. Then send to printer. Click print. Now that it's done printing, I'm going to place the sticker paper onto my mat. And I'm using my roller to help me stick the paper onto the mat instead of me trying to burnish it with my hand. My dial is in custom setting and this is what you will see on your screen. With the paper sticker I'm using, I choose sticky note settings on mine. Load the mat and click start. You will see a light that comes onto your machine and it is scanning the registration marks. Once the light turns off, it'll just start cutting. Now that it's done cutting, just click finish and unload the mat. And I like to fold my mat like in a taco shape and remove the sticker paper this way. If you don't have a sticker paper available, you can always use a regular printing paper and just use glue for it to stick. Just going to trim this real quick. And here you go. Alright you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.